The City of London witnessed the first ever international education convocation of its kind to profile India's most established and respected educational institutions. The high profile event at the House of Commons was hosted by British MP Bob Blackman and saw the presence of various dignitaries from the United Kingdom. Very proud moment for India to be standing at the House of Commons and getting certified for education. It's a great initiative showcasing the higher education at uh, a platform like London and especially in the venue called uh, House of Commons. So it's a prestigious event uh, and I think we're one of the first initiatives to uh, have such a purpose. It's a great initiative by Skilltree, showcasing um, some of the best private sector institutions to the uh, global audience. Great place to study is a unique initiative by Skilltree Knowledge Consortium in association with Lavasa Corporation. Skilltree is India's first organization engaged into knowledge sharing, research and recognition to enable best educational practices. Great Place to Study aims at drawing global attention to India's thriving educational sector. It's what's most important is that we build that friendship and relationship between Britain and India as an equal partnership and encourage the educational institutions in India to throw open their doors and increase the number of students that are skilled and able to contribute to the Indian economy because the Indian economy is going to grow and flourish over the next few years. And this sort of event actually demonstrates the partnership there is between Britain and India. There have been a tremendous growth in higher education system and it was a high time for us to showcase everybody around the world that India is a location, India is the place where you can come and study. Ladies and gentlemen, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, actually, I should say, and honorable ministers, uh, my name is Alpesh Patel, and I'm going to be your master of ceremonies. Actually, as I said, I'm delighted to welcome you to the inaugural International Education Convocation, Skill Tree Great Place to Study, uh, the India edition, taking place at two iconic venues, of course, here at the House of Commons and this evening at Madame Tussauds. Uh, this initiative has been taken by the Higher Education Advisory and Consulting Firm Skilltree Knowledge Consortium in association with the international communications brand consultancy Sterling Media and supported by Lavasa Corporation Limited, which is a subsidiary of Hindustan Construction Company. Now, today's esteemed event will showcase India's prowess as a global leader in education attainment and it promises to be one of the most high profile congregations of UK and India's education leaders. We're presenting certificates to several of the top universities of India and we're delighted to have them here today with us for this convocation. So let me move on very quickly to our first speaker. Now Skill Tree, great place to study, is the brainchild of an incredibly enterprising visionary. Shaker Bhattacharji, Shaker founded Skilltree Knowledge Consortium, a higher education think tank and advisory consortium with a vision and a dream to make Indian, the Indian knowledge economy respected as a world knowledge economy. I'd like to call him on stage, the founder of Skilltree Knowledge Consortium, Shaker Bhattacharji. Thank you, sir. Very good afternoon to all of you. Firstly, thank you so much in believing in us. You know, nine months back when me with my team uh, have put this objective that we need to go global. We have been producing some of the finest engineers, doctors. We have been known as a destination for producing the finest brains. Then why can't we become a global destination for higher education? 
and that's what made nine months back all of us sit together, pen down the idea that you know before going global, because end of the day, when anybody across the globe, when the thing that India is a great destination, they should know great institutes. That's the first thing because when we think of all countries across the globe, we know the name of the institution. So with this objective, is we have set up, we have started Great Place to Study, which is uh, an auditing wing uh, with core focus to identify institutions in the country who have got global standard practices. We started advising a lot of institutions to pull them up uh, and you know make them counted with the same level who uh, have got this international standard and practices. And every year, of course, uh, uh, this is the first edition, we will try to uh, pull out 20 to 25 institutions from the country and make them and confer them with the International League Indian Institute uh, certification and the award. And Great Place to Study is uh, India's first initiative, which is happening today at, at the House of Commons. And uh, thank you so much. I'd now like to call on stage Mr. Nathan Andrews, who's the President and CEO of Lavasa Corporation Limited, uh, to say a few words. Nathan is currently spearheading the development of Lavasa, India's first planned hill city being built near Pune. Nathan, over to you. Good afternoon, uh, honorable members and our chief guests over here. Thank you so much. And thank you, Shekhar, for the opportunity of partnering with you in this. The reason why uh, we thought we wanted to be a part of this when Shekhar first explained it to us about six, seven months ago was, as you see, Lavasa is really one of the places we believe today in India is one of the greatest places to study. We are not a university. We are a city being developed from scratch. But education within that city is uh, one of the key drivers. And uh, my goal and my colleagues' goal and our team's goal is to really make it another Takshila or something like an Oxford or Cambridge within India. And so uh, we thought that this was you know, an opportunity that we should support and partner with. And uh, we know the challenges that we have in India. I think all of us do. I was just looking at some figures last week. Uh, the UK got $17.5 billion in income from overseas students. I couldn't find a single figure on the net for India. Okay, it was that negligible. Uh, there are 31 universities in the UK and the top 200 universities globally, 79 from the US, seven from Australia, five from China, not a single one from India. And I think that's something we all need to address. The highest in the last ranking that an Indian university made it was 226. And so I believe that by being here today, by each one of us working together uh, to make Indian universities what they need to be, it's not just about us, it's not just about our institutions, it's not just about our destination, but it's about our country. We need it, we need it desperately, and our goal is that even today, this event, we would be able to play a small part in making that a reality. So welcome, thank you. Thank you, thank you kindly. Thank you, Arena, Shaker, and of course, Nathan. Now, it's quite clear that the scope of this vision that you've heard from uh, Nathan is extraordinary, you've heard from Shaker is extraordinary. And uh, what I'd like to do is now begin our certificate presentation. Uh, before I do that, I'd like to call on stage our chief guest to facilitate this, and I'll, I'll introduce him to you first. Uh, Bob Blackman is the Conservative MP for Harrow East, can I please call on stage uh, Mr. Bob Blackman, MP. Oh. Well, thank you and uh, welcome. Jai Shri Krishna, Namaste, and welcome to the Churchill Room, which uh, is appropriate because I, as, as Alpesh quite rightly says, I do represent Harrow East, and Winston Churchill was the greatest Harrovian of all, so we have a direct connection. But ladies and gentlemen, you are very welcome uh, to be here. India is a very young country in respect of its development of young people and ensuring that uh, the youth culture is developing fast. Education moves on rapidly. And in many ways in this country, we've stayed still on education for too long. And I was sharing with people before we started uh, this session 
Why is it in this country that our students study for 30 weeks a year? That degree courses take three years and we ask them now to pay quite large fees um, for their tuition. Why not have degree courses that could be done in two years? Why not have shorter periods of, of, of rest and recuperation for students? Let, let's get them through their courses quicker so they can be more productive more quickly. And I look forward to, to hearing some of the uh, great universities and educationists from India telling us about the great things that are being done in India on the advances in education, in science, and in learning in general. Um, so I'm looking forward to not only uh, giving out the prizes, as it were, giving the certificates, but hearing from the award winners on what they're doing, how they're doing it, and the advances that are, they're making. So welcome to uh, the House of Commons. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. With that, I'm going to start with the certificate presentation. The first certificate will go to Ames Institutes. Now, Ames has made a name of itself and for itself by adapting innovative teaching methods, providing international exposure, and by continuous research and understanding. It's been rated as the best school for entrepreneurship education in India, and has been ranked as among the top 1% of business schools in India. Please welcome on stage Dr. Karen G. Reddy, CEO of Ames Institute, and Dr. Gopal G. Reddy, Director of Ames Institute, to collect the certificate. Ames Institute has made a name of itself by adopting innovative teaching methods, providing international exposure, and by continuous research and understanding. It has been rated as the best school for entrepreneurship education in India. certificate goes to Ansal University. Since its inception in 2012, Ansal University has stamped its recognition through academic brilliance, exceptional practicing methods and contemporary pedagogy. Please welcome on stage Sheetal Ansal, trustee of Ansal University, to collect the certificate. Ansal University. Since its inception in 2012, Ansal University has stamped its recognition through academic brilliance, exceptional practicing methods, and contemporary pedagogy. Sustainability governs Ansal University. With international ties in USA, Canada, and Australia. Good afternoon, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. And I've been told to be quick like all of us, so I would move. With a deep sense of humility, I, on behalf of the Ansel University fraternity, thank you for this global recognition for us as a great place to study. We are a selective university which focuses on fields such as architecture, design, engineering, law and health services. Might I also add that we are a very young university. In that sense, your recognition today is an encouragement. I do hope that your recognition today will be the harbinger of many, much, many more such exchanges. I once again extend my thanks to Skill Tree Knowledge Consortium and Lamasa Corporation for this felicitation and extend to all of you a warm invitation to visit us and help us further our endeavors. Thank you. The next certificate goes to APJ Education Society and APJ Steyr University. Please welcome on stage Shushma Paul Berlia, co-promoter and president of APJ Steyr and SRAN Group, to collect the certificate. APJ Education Society and APJ Satya University is a hub for potential minds, where past is resurrected, present is built, and future is expanded for growth. It takes pride in fostering universal values and takes no less than cutting-edge teaching methods to nurture them. It's actually a very emotional moment for me to be here at the House of Commons and receive this certificate from your hands, Mr. Bob Blackman. And I must congratulate the organizers and I, the initiative which Mr. Bob Blackman has taken, and I believe we are building a new chapter in history in this process of cooperation in the field of education.
Moving on to the next certificate. This goes to Ecole Hotelier Lavassa. Please welcome on stage Mr. Rajiv Dugal, Senior Vice President, Tourism Hospitality, representing Ecole Hotelier Lavassa to collect the certificate. Ecole Hotelier Lavassa, where leadership is created through the fusion of heart, mind and hands by providing quality international hospitality education, training and state-of-the-art facilities Entrepreneurs not only learn to manage, but develop their business with confidence and gusto. This all came from a very strong dedication of the city. Uh, the school was set up by the city and we were very clear that whatever the city comprises of education and quality education is something India needs. Uh, I have a lot of partners here from India and what a lovely opportunity in the House of Commons to welcome you all. Luzan has done well. I hope all of you also see the opportunity in Lavasa and come and give us more quality education that Indians can impart. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next certificate goes to Four School of Management. Four School of Management has become a mascot of excellence and credibility in every way of life. Please welcome on stage Dr. Jitendra Das, Director for School of Management, to collect the certificate. For School of Management. Incorporated in 1981, For School of Management has installed values of integrity in its infrastructure. Founded on the principles of resurrecting the educational background of the nation, For School of Management has become a mascot of excellence and credibility in every way of life. To give you a brief on how we do in India, uh, for 240 students that we uh, admit uh, through the CAT exam, uh, we, this year we received uh, 6,200 applications. So that gives you a benchmark figure for how uh, positively we are viewed by the uh, potential candidates for admission. I am very happy to have received this. So thank you very much. And thank you Skillfree for doing a wonderful job. Thank you. The uh, next certificate goes to G.D. Goinka University. Please welcome on stage Professor Dr. Raj Singh, Vice Chancellor, G.D. Goinka University, to collect the certificate. G.D. Goinka University is a hub for career oriented students. The state of the art facilities, international ties, and noted faculty is just what makes them stand out in front of their competition. Individual attention governs the university which only helps students in their endeavor. We as a group, we represent education from pre-nursery to post doctoral a whole conglomerate of institutions, not only in India, but also abroad. We have schools in Gulf, which have set new standards in terms of infrastructure and the teaching pedagogy. I welcome the entire education fraternity to come and work with us, to send students to us. As I mentioned, it's a world-class infrastructure and providing an unparalleled environment with 45 nationalities which we draw students from. Once again, I thank uh, Bob Blackman for this honor and recognition, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. Thank you very much. The, the next certificate goes to Goa Institute of Management. Please welcome on stage Dr. Ajit Arun Perulka. Professor of Marketing, Assistant Dean Healthcare Management at the Goa Institute of Management to collect the certificate. Goa Institute of Management was founded with the knowledge, skills and creativity to manage our nation's enterprise competently and confidently with personal integrity and social responsibility. The chief goal is to improve the effectiveness of organizations through research, training, and the practice of management. Uh, the Goa Institute of Management was started a little over 20 years back by a Jesuit priest, ably supported by prominent citizens in Goa. So a lot of Goan industrialists, they decided to support the Jesuit priest. And now we are 21 years young. Thank you. The next certificate goes to Great Lakes Institute of Management. Great Lakes has become a center of excellence where managerial leadership and entrepreneurship are fostered by developing human potential. Please welcome on stage Professor S. Sriram, Executive Director, Great Lakes Institute of Management. Collect the certificate. Great Lakes Institute of Management 
has become a center of excellence where managerial leadership and entrepreneurship are fostered by developing human potential. With international colleges and companies choosing the university as their second home has helped them achieve their goal with excellence. Thank Mr. Bob Blackman, Lord Posaraj for this presence over here. And I want to welcome everyone with open hands. Uh, it's a beautiful location, very close to Mahapuram. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. The next certificate goes to ICFAI Group. Uh, they strive to create intellectually stimulating environment for research, particularly in areas that have a bearing on socio-economic and cultural development of the state and the nation. Please welcome on stage Dr. Sudoka Rao, Director, ICFAI University, to collect the certificate. ICFAI University. ICFAI's mission is to offer world-class, innovative, career-oriented professionals. They strive to create intellectually stimulating environment for research, particularly in areas that have a bearing on the social, economic and cultural development of the state and the nation. Mr. Bob Blackman, Lord Paul and friends, good afternoon to all of you. It's a privilege to receive this honor today at House of Commons. We are about uh, three decades uh, pioneering this cause of education in this country and uh, we are very happy to stand here today and uh, share with you why we are a great place to study in India. So thank you once again all of you for uh, extending this honor to us. I must make special mention here uh, about uh, Shekhar Bhattacharji. I on behalf of ICFI uh, recognize and congratulate you for the commitment that you have displayed. Thank you very much. Thank you. The uh, next certificate as part of Skill Tree's Great Place to Study Index goes to Professor Yogesh Upede, Vice Chancellor ITM University Global. The next certificate goes to JIS Group Educational Initiative. It's an international recognition and then Indian Institute's being put on a platform where the other countries also start recognizing where they can come and study and where they consider them as great places to study itself is a big achievement.